Okay, so we're going to work through a whole routine of head voice and chest voice or thin fold, thick fold exercises. And my desire for you is that you can start to negotiate blending the two. Okay, so just the starting point. Now, I'm going to work from a range of about F3 to E5 throughout. F3 will be way too low for many of you, young voices. Um, and E5 will be a bit too high for some. E5 will be easy for some. So if it's easy, you can move it up. Of course, you can move it up. Just the whole point is it's not a competition. It's about having ease um, of mechanism through your voice and your range. Okay, there's no point in overworking yourself at this stage. So we're going to start by accessing our head voice. We're going to do a set of exercises on one vowel and you're going to get in the habit of hitting rewind and repeating on every vowel. R-A-E-O-U. Okay, so that you've got full flexibility and fluidity of mechanism in your instrument. And when you're singing songs, you can hit every sound on every vowel sound and shape. Okay, so we're going to start with head voice coming down. We're going to then blend... Um, head voice into chest voice coming back up um, and we're also going to do a bit of negative practice so we're going to do some bad versions um, so that you can feel and most recognizably we will have breathy tone when we're doing head voice and I like to call that uncontrolled voicing which sounds quite harsh but that's more like the Ah, that kind of breathy sound that's not intentional we don't intend to do that it's just how it comes out which we want to get into a clearer tone right so first of all if you just do and you're thinking that sort of placement so if you get lost at any point just do a nice high pitch again and see where you end up and we're gonna do and the point is that this doesn't happen or this yeah so we're trying to maintain that head voice coming down which is sometimes the most difficult thing for us so let's have a go actually what i should have also said is just constantly body scan check what is tense if you feel something getting tense try and let it go and keep remembering breathing nice and low so i like the technique of thumbs on belly button and diamond down the front of your pelvis and breathe into that diamond if you can feel tension under your hands when you're practicing on your own at home you can obviously pause stop rewind repeat and unlock that tension yeah let's start again as you come down you let's do a negative one here you you yeah so keep that placement as you come down you 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 Let's do a negative one at the bottom here. You or you. Yeah, anything like that isn't great. If that's too low for you, just stop. Yeah, just leave it out. You can either work towards it or your range might not yet go that low or it might never go that low. It doesn't matter. Work to your capabilities. So then we go back again and we go through the vowels. R, E, R, E, R, U. Just for argument's sake, let's do an R one without stopping. So you go, yoo-haw, yoo-haw, keep 
body scanning. you're trying to keep that placement as you go down so then we are now going to let our voice blend into a chest voice or a thicker sound I like to think of it as a bland boring sound or as if you're at the football match I'm um, sorry rugby fans but I go on a lot about the football game sound so ah, ee, eh, oh. So we're going to start to try and blend that. So we go again, we're going to do you who, but when you do it in your own practice, make sure you repeat all the vowels. So we're going to go. You -hoo! So it blends into a chestier tone, thicker tone. You -hoo! You -hoo! Body scan, watch any necks and um, strains. that diamond as well negative one you or you you know that too heavier sound like you're pushing on air you want a nice clear tone still you you So rewind that back, do I, A, E, O. So if there's any blips or cracks or it feels a bit tight, stop in your practice, stop. So for example, you if it feels unstable, stop and slow it down. Try them separate, head voice, then chest voice and play around until you've managed to blend it a bit more. Yeah. Third step, we're going to move head voice down, chest voice up. That sounds like this. It's not going to sound very pretty. You so we do our you on the way down, keeping it energized and clear. Then on the way up, we're going to find our football chant. Yeah. You for it for a minute do something to unlock it come back to it
again, negative practice, really helpful. If you feel there's some tightness, tighten even more. Do one version really, really tight. How tight can you go? And then try and let it go again. Yeah, negative practice can be really useful to help you find optimization. Yeah, as scary as it might sound to do a bad version. But sometimes that can help us unlock. Now we're going to work on chest voice going up. So my access here that's nice and simple is someone runs past you, grabs your bag off your shoulder and I go, hey! So we're just going to practice moving that hey all the way through where you are comfortable in your range. So hey, 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 hey. So we're going to do hey, 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 and if it's breathy or if that's too low, just come in where you're comfortable. Hey, hey, keep body scanning, no tension. Hey, hey. sounds this is about keeping our voice training yeah doing releves to find your um position for pirouette on point was not a pretty sight to start with right this is the aim isn't to make a nice sound the aim is to get the voice mechanized hey whichever you find more comfortable. Next, we are going to go up in chest and down in head. This is such a brain fuffle. This is really difficult coordination. So we go up in our football and down in our yoo-hoo. Now, if you get stuck, pause. When you're practicing on your own, pause. You go up. Hey, ooh. So you practice it, break it down. I like to say, put the magnifying glass on something. Yeah, press the pause, put the magnifying glass on the area that's not smooth yet and work through that. Yeah, don't just move on if you're stuck. Don't move on if it's not right, if it's not comfortable, if you can't do it yet, work through that. Yeah, or you'll never get it. Sounds dramatic, but probably true. So you're going to go, hey, 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 hey. Let's just pause and do a negative one. Hey, do you see that breathy tone? <clears throat> hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, 
don't forget, we want to do all the vowels. So I would suggest getting in a habit of doing ha. that too hard because I think the yoo-hoo is a nice access in okay that's kind of an introduction to how to start blending chest and head voice and of course there's lots and lots of other ways of doing it so if you're struggling check in with your teacher make sure you've got some unique exercises for you because not every exercise works for every single singer, every single person, because we're all unique, we're all different. We've all got slightly different setups. So don't be afraid. If it doesn't work for you, ask for help. And these exercises are great, but you also need to check in with a teacher regularly to make sure that you're, you're doing it in the most efficient way for yourself. That's what your vocal coach is for. So whilst it's great to follow along to an exercise, make sure you do also check in. And if you've got any questions, just ask.